Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Mel and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a full water slide wrap on a tumbler. We're going to be making two tumblers today, so I'm going to show you how to do the full water slide wrap using white water slide and clear water slide. We're going to be using some seamless patterns that I created and I am so excited to use and share with you. I will have a full supply list linked down below in the description box. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages. So if you're not following along with me on Instagram or Facebook, or if you're not in my Facebook group, you can follow me and join my groups down below. I will also have a link to my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. That is a paid group where you get a bunch of additional content and stuff from me. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. For both of our tumbler designs today, we're going to be using 20 ounce skinny straight tumblers from Craft Haven. These are the powder coated white ones, so you can just give them a very light sanding, clean them with rubbing alcohol, and then you're ready to jump right into your design. So for the first tumbler, we're going to be doing the clear water slide on this one. I've got some epoxy mixed up here and my cup is on my turner. I'm going to mix in a little bit of glitter into my epoxy. I'm using special edition flurries from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's a really pretty kind of gold toned extra fine glitter. It's perfect for mixing into your epoxy for projects like this. I've got about 20-ish milliliters of epoxy mixed up, so I'm going to apply all of that to my tumbler, just making sure that I have a really smooth and even coat. So now it's time to get our water slides ready. So to create a full water slide wrap, you can either use Microsoft Word or Pages if you have a Mac, or you can use Google Docs. Google Docs is typically what I use. Um, I go back and forth between Docs and Pages. But if you go to Google Docs and just open up a brand new document, once you're in your new document, you'll go up to insert and then you'll go to image and you can just upload one from your computer. I'm gonna use a random seamless pattern that I created for Valentine's Day. But obviously you can do this with any seamless pattern you want. Once you've got your pattern in your document, you're going to change two settings. So you're going to make the pattern stay in front of your text and then you're going to hit fix position on page. This doesn't really matter too much. I just like to change those settings um, so that my image is easy to work with. So then basically from here, what you're going to do is tile your image. Now, how many tiles you create depends on how big you want the scale of your pattern to be. So in this example, I'm just gonna make them kind of small. And basically you're just going to copy and paste your pattern and then drag each tile so that the pattern lines up with itself and you're just creating a full sheet of the same pattern. Now, if you want to do a half wrap, you can just fill up half your page. Whatever you wanna do, you can always tile accordingly. One thing that I really like about pages versus Google Docs is that you can size and group your things together. Now, I'm sure you might be able to do that in Google Docs, but I'm not like a Google Docs professional, so I don't know how to do that in Google Docs. <laughs> but anyway, once you've got your full page of water slide ready to go, you'll go up to the print icon or you can go to file print and you'll see that we've got a full sheet of our pattern. There are a couple settings that I change when I print my water slides out. So when I go to the printer, I'll change, I have a Canon printer. I'll print using the system dialog. And what I'll change is under media and quality, I will change the material setting to photo glossy, photo paper glossy, and then I'll print in the best quality. So that's what I did with both of these sheets. Now for this mauve kind of pink one, that's gonna be our white backed water slide. And then I'm going to do the white background and black flowers on clear water slide. Both of these are from Hayes Paper Company. That's where I get all of my water slide paper. So now I'm going to seal both sheets of water slide with three coats of glossy clear spray paint from Rust-Oleum. You can also use triple thick or matte clear if that's all you have. Um, um, I rotate, I go back and forth between all of those. It's really just based on what I have on hand. So once everything is dry and sealed, I'm going to cut off all of the edges from around my image because you want your water slide to slide off the backing easily. And if you don't trim around the edges, 
it won't come off the backing. So once I've trimmed everything up, I'm going to put it in my pan of lukewarm water. You don't want ice cold water. It'll just make it a little bit more difficult, but you don't want anything too, too hot either. So you have to usually leave your water slide in for maybe like a minute or two. Full sheets usually take a little bit longer. So just be patient. When they're sliding off the backing easily, you'll know that they are ready to be applied to your cup. We're going to work with the white backed water slide first. So I've got my powder coated white tumbler here ready to go. It doesn't have any epoxy or anything on it. It's just the plain cup. And what I'm going to do, as you can see here, is slide the water slide off the backing just a little bit, smooth it onto the cup, and then I'll go in my next little section very, very carefully pulling the backing away and then smoothing all of the water and bubbles and crinkles out of the water slide. I'm doing that with a wet paper towel to start. And once I've got the full thing on the cup, I'm gonna move to my silicone makeup brush and really push out all of the excess water and anything that's left under the water slide. So in all, this probably took me maybe 15 minutes. So you wanna go really, really slow. Make sure you're not rushing the process. You don't want to tear or crack or rip your water slide. So just be really, really careful and be really, really patient as you do this. Once you've got the full water slide applied to your tumbler, we're going to take that silicone makeup brush and very gently and carefully brush out any of the excess water that's left underneath that water slide. This is what's really going to get your water slide stuck in place. So after you do this, you won't be able to move the water slide around anymore. So just make sure that it is exactly where you want it before you go in and do this step. Now for this particular design, we're going to cover up the top rim and the very bottom rim. So I'm not super concerned with that. If you're going to leave the top and bottom blank, you can leave like a little bit of excess of your tumbler on the top and the bottom so that you don't have any crinkling or wrinkles or anything on either of those edges. So once my water slide is on the cup, I'm gonna take a super sharp craft knife and just cut off all of the excess from the seam. It's really not super necessary in this case, but I cut it off of this one, didn't cut it off of the clear one. So now we're moving into our clear water slide and I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick that you can use with your clear water slide wraps. This is our glittered tumbler that has epoxy on it. And now this trick I'm gonna show you, you can also use with water slide decals and everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is put my water slide in the water the same way we did the other one, but I'm going to apply it reversed. So I'm gonna flip it over and put the face of my water slide down on my tumbler and the backing will be on the outside facing you. So then what I'm going to do is roll my cup, as you can see, very gently and carefully applying the water slide to my tumbler this way. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is if you have a decal or a wrap that has wording on it, or if it's oriented in a specific way, before you print it, you wanna make sure that you flip the image, so mirror it, because if you put it on this way, upside down almost, and your wording is facing the right way, it's going to be backwards, so just keep that in mind. So once you've got the water slide wrapped around your tumbler, you can very gently peel off the backing just how I did there. That was the most satisfying thing I've ever done, I swear. <laughs> so once I've got it on, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my wet paper towel, smooth out any wrinkles or crinkles or anything, all of that excess water, and then I'll go in with my silicone brush and secure it down to my cup. I let my water slide wraps dry overnight before I added a coat of epoxy to seal them in. And now I'm ready to add the rest of my elements for these designs. So for this white water slide wrap, the one with the mauve background, I'm using a decal. I also created this one and I cut it out using my printable vinyl and just my print and cut settings on my silhouette. I made the circle, I believe four inches around. Um, I wanted it to take up a big area of this tumbler. So once I've got the decal placed, I'm going to just clean up the rim with my craft knife. And then we're going to, like I said, glitter the top and the bottom rims of this tumbler. So I'm taking some half inch painter's tape. You could use one inch if you have it. I don't have any on hand, so I'm using half inch. And I'm gonna mark out an inch from the top rim and an inch from the bottom rim. And then I'm gonna tape off those sections so that I can glitter the top inch and the bottom inch of our cup.
We're going to be using Rose Gold Opal from PGL and Glitters. This is one of my absolute favorite glitter colors. It's just the perfect rose gold fine cut. So for the base, I'm actually going to use a really light beige color. I'm gonna mix that in with my Crystal Act glitter glue, of course, and then I'm going to base coat the top and bottom of my tumbler so that I can apply my glitter. The glitter glue from Crystal Act takes about two hours to dry, so I let my cup sit for an hour, and then after that I went back in and removed my tape, then let it sit and dry for the final hour. And once it was totally dry, I was ready to seal the glitter. So I'm taking, as always, a mix of the Crystal Act glitter glue and water. I do a 50-50 ratio, and I use this mix for sealing my glitter only. So I sealed that, and then I applied another two coats of epoxy. I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy for my coat. And once those two coats were all cured, I went in and added some very thin striping. This is champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. You guys know this is my favorite vinyl of all time. So I'm just going to apply a very thin strip to the top and bottom sections of our glitter. And now it is time to move into our clear water slide design. So we're gonna do something completely different with this one. We're gonna go a lot more simple and we are going to use some more Tech Wrap Craft vinyl. You guys know I love Tech Wrap Craft. So I am going to cut out my decal here. This is a hand lettered decal I created and I'm going to use these two vinyls from Tech Wrap Craft. For the offset, I'm using this holographic dark gray vinyl. And then for the top, I'm using a pearlescent chrome teal. This teal vinyl is so beautiful and it looks really, really good matte as well. So if you ever do matte finish tumblers, this vinyl looks great with a matte finish. So I'm going to apply my transfer tape and then I'm going to apply the offset for my decal first. And now I made my offset really, really thin in this case. I wanted the black to just be a really soft background, almost like a shadow, just to make the teal vinyl pop off the floral background just a little tiny bit. Now, of course, with this black and white floral design, you can do any sort of pop of color you want. You can keep the whole design monochrome. I decided to go with the teal theme because teal and aqua are my favorite colors. So I chose to bring that out and I'm going to reinforce that color pop with um, a glittered bottom. So I'm gonna tape off the bottom edge of my tumbler using electrical tape. And then I'm going to take this really pretty aqua acrylic paint. This is from Delta Ceram Coat. You can just get this at Target. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the crystal Crystallized glitter glue, of course, and then use a fluffy brush to just brush that on the bottom of my tumbler. And I'm going to use it two different colors from Peachy to kind of mix them together and get the right tone so that it matches our teal vinyl. So the first color I'm going in with is Turks, which is a really pretty fine cut teal. And then right on top of that, I'm going to go in with Pogue, which is a extra fine kind of more green toned teal and putting those right on top of each other is going to get us the perfect tone to match our vinyl. Ooh. 
So once this glitter was dry, I did the same thing. I sealed it with the glitter glue and then finished off with my final coats of epoxy, of course. So once the final coats were all cured, we are all done. So here's the final result for both of our water slide wraps. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you in applying your full water slides. Water slides are a great alternative to pattern vinyl, or if you are a digital paper hoarder like me, you can put all of those patterns to good use by using water slide. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye. Very good. I have been loving and oh god. Media pages. Are you freaking kidding me? I have lipstick on my teeth that whole time. Oh boy. If I did, don't say anything. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs>